This is brilliant. You can keep secondary school physics teachers who are in their 60s and using this. That's how good it is. There's a more to you. I'll leave it there. Have a look. See what happens. Don't listen to me while I'm doing it. We worry a lot about writing. All right? In particular, these here, and this is all written down on, over there. These are the things you need children to write down in science. Getting children to write their sites, for example, in the form of a blog, is a really good idea because then they're being like a scientist. They're testing their ideas and they're sharing them with other scientists, which is what real scientists do all of the time. What does progression look like in science? This is quick, isn't it? That's what progression looks like in science. Essentially, and it's all written down over there, so you just take a sheet and walk away with it. Essentially, it's I see something happen, I wonder why, I use the ideas I've already got to try and explain it, and then I think, I wonder if that's why I'll test my idea. That's what's that there. That's the progression in science. What do we have to teach children in science? Well, that kind of depends on what people decide they want us to teach. But the essential bits of science, the bits we really have to teach children, Irrespective of what anyone else says, the curriculum should be right, are things which are called the key ideas. And some of you may have stumbled across them, but they were developed by Hampshire teachers. They're in a booklet that looks like that, which you can download for free, or you can pick up a copy from the table over there a bit later on. And they give you the absolutely essential ideas. Go outside, not now necessarily, because it's a bit getting dark. The best sites, some of the best sites you do outside. And, and a really good place to look for resources and ideas are over explore nature. I don't know if you've stumbled across them before. The resources are first class, the ideas are first class, um, and they're all free. And your children can collect data and send it off to, to be part of a national survey. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. but my site's important in primary schools. It's not important because people say it is. It's important because the children we teach, many, many, many of them, are going to have to use what you teach them in science, not only in Key Stage 3, not only in Key Stage 4, but later on as well. And so, just keeping a little bit of a curriculum for science in primary schools is really quite important. Anyone got any questions? Or should I just shut up? Okay.